storing the document library into the environment variable is something that you already have done in many of your project but have you ever encountered such type of scenario where you have put the document library of your sharepoint into one environment variable but when you try to utilize that inside your power automate action it won't work hey everyone this is prashant choudhury i welcome you all to my channel classy power app in this video i will show you an example where a single environment variable which hold the document library is not enough to complete the whole automation so let me just take you to my screen so here i am inside my solution so if we need to use the environment variable then yes we need to work inside this solution itself so there is a solution and what we generally do let an example i have a sharepoint site in this site inside my document library i have a book 1 xlxx this particular file i want to fetch inside my power automate flow so what we do we simply go to our solution and we we'll simply create the environment variable so the first variable that we will create will be for the site so we say sp address and then the data type is of type data source connector is sharepoint connection please select mine okay mine is not set up here let me just set it up okay this type of power only comes if the it is not connected inside your environment okay so this is my new environment that's the reason it is asking me to set up the connection okay now i have created my my connection with my sharepoint now here i need to pass with what type of parameter it is so first i'm creating for my site the new site which particular site i need to connect with my production site because that's my name of my site i'll click save my next work is to create the environment variable which hold the document library id so let it create and in addition to this let me do this duplicate okay so now my next work is to create another variable let's say doc library again it is of type data source connect of sharepoint parameter type is this time it would be a list because document library itself considered as a list okay then site here it will give you only those variables which is connected to some site so there's the reason i can see this as we site address this particular belongs to my environment variable which hold the site okay now i click on this new list and then if i click on this one it give me all the list and the document libraries that exist inside my sharepoint site so i need to go and select my documents and then hit okay save now i'll create the automation let okay now let's try to create an cloud flow so our work is to fetch the excel file okay now we'll go with instant fetch excel spelling is mistake okay now create the new one and then my next step would be i'll simply use excel connector what i need to do let an example i need to update a row of my table let's say this book one is having some table let this one 
inside the sheet 2 I have a table whose name is table 1 I need to update its value okay or maybe let's try to fetch it out the aim is to just show you how we can how the single involvement variable is not enough to do this okay so let's say list was presented a table now it is connect creating the connection okay so here in the location i'll go with the enter custom value because my location is already stored in my sum of my involvement variables so i'll select my involvement variable which hold the site okay so sp address is my variable which hold the site next if i hit on this drop down i can see so many things here i can see the document but i don't want to select any static values so i what i'll do i'll select the environment variable which hold the document library so that one doc library i hit on this one and then when i try to click on this it is saying that it is unable to find there's some sort of error is coming on the screen although this particular file is fetching my data if i use another action let's say i'll use get file get file action of my sharepoint and i want this particular to use the same environment variables my i want to list all the files which are present inside my document library using the environment variable values sharepoint site and in the list i want the not this one i want the custom and then share document library now if i try to see this out let me let me delete it for now and then save it and then test it out is save okay now let's try to test whether it is giving me all the files or not next run flow done and then it ran successfully without any error it means whatever ids which are present so here i can see library id and if i try to see my output i can see that excel also maybe somewhere excel my excel file maybe that's a long file which i got okay so this particular one would having my like it is showing me some data that's the name but when i try to use the same environment variable to list the rows present in a table it is not working okay so let's try it if i use another time excel excel for business get rows present on table and this time i'm passing the location as my environment variable and document library i'm selecting the static value and then if i try to click on this I can see my file directly so it means the document that which is attached to this particular variable is not that one which is coming at this place and it is also giving me all the tables which are there okay now let's do one more thing if i remove this and then if I try to select any other, maybe this one, I can see this value is not the one which is passed inside my environment variable. Hope you you notice this thing. 
this value is not the same which was there let me just do the duplicate of this or i'll show you i'll go to my flow and then i'll check the logs of it i will try to compare this value succeeded okay so here you can see in the library i was getting something else but here it is showing me something else because at one place it might be showing the library id and another place it is it might be showing some document library id something like any naming convention you can use for that but that value is different here you notice the value is not same they are different so how we can use the environment variables in order to use the excel connect excel characters so we need to pass this particular value in my environment variables in order to make anything work so how we can do this let's try to save this value and we'll go back to our solution and then we'll create a new environment variable new environment variable let's say i would say the name is doc library new and then i'm setting its type to be of text this time i'm not selecting it as type of a data set okay this time i'm just passing some static value some text value inside this and the value i'm passing which i copied from this place okay i copied and now hit the save button now if i come back on this let me try to refresh this tab so that i can access this environment variable inside my flow I'll go to the cloud flows and then I'll click on this edit a new tab. Okay, it is asking me the login stuff. All right, so here we will use the same Excel excel connector we'll use excel list was presented table and then i'll pass these static values not the static values but the dynamic values so my site from my environment variable and document library i will use the environment variable which i just created that's my new and then if I come to this Excel, I'm able to access the data which is present inside this. So getting, if I change this to the previous one, the doc library, the old one, I'm not able to access. Okay. So that's how you can use the excel connectors that's how you can use the environment variables to hold the document library inside your environment variables sometimes you might need the drive id and sometimes you might need the library id okay so based on your requirement of your action your power weight action you need to pass the value correspondingly there can be multiple approach in order to complete that thing